Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. On this Monday morning, in our relationship chat with Dr. Eve, our resident relationship expert. And we're talking about infidelity. How do you survive infidelity in a relationship? Can you actually make it work? And that's why we've opened up our lines, 83 We want to get your opinions. We want to get your questions as well. But before we carry on with our topic, let's quickly go back to the streets. And we asked you, how do you rebuild trust after cheating? People trust basically by working on the relationship and seeing where it went wrong and what, what caused a person to cheat and that's where you basically go from there with communication and stuff in the relationship. I won't ever get into a relationship with that person again because I won't be able to trust them. We will firstly become friends again and start and do things together. Learn to trust him. Trust is most important in a relationship and to respect one another. Obviously we need to talk about what happened and I need to forgive them and then we need to, it's not just going to be like, okay, I trust you again. We need to start working at it and slowly but surely I will start trusting them and see where it goes from me. Right, obviously a very difficult subject to broach once it has happened, mm -hmm. but let's take a call right now. Mm -hmm. Anonymous from Cape Town, good morning to you. Hello. Oh, from Centurion. Hi. Excuse me, not Cape Town. All right. Uh, yeah, what is, Centurion. There we go. There you go. So what is your comment or your question? Okay, so when we just started dating, I went out with friends, cheated. I didn't sleep with a guy, but I cheated. And after that, we worked through it and everything was fine and it was great. And last week, I had to check something on his phone oh. and he was caught up. Mm. And... Oh confronted him immediately about it. We had conversations about it, everything. He said sorry, he didn't seem sorry. But what I'm wondering now, is is this a one-for-one, one? like now we're even, or how do you go forward with wow. something like this? That's a very tricky yeah, question. You know, um, when somebody begins to date, the boundaries are pretty blurred. So you're still establishing what are some of the boundaries where the I can date somebody else or whether I can kiss somebody else. And so there is, you know, I can well understand that there is some blurriness unless you have your firm boundaries in place and say, like you've actually we're discussed together, it. exactly, mm -hmm. we're together. And you know, people don't discuss that stuff, which they really should. You know, what would you <laughs> consider to be cheating? Um, so, so there isn't, a tit for tat should never happen because when I hear that going down in a relationship, yeah. I always wonder, I wonder what other games are being played oh, wow. where there isn't conversation that's happening where he can say, look, you know, I'm really hurt or I'm not over this or I really need to discuss this more. Let's yeah. resolve it. And if he's going online, which is different, which is why you need to buy this book and read it. If you're going to get online and you're going to be doing that kind of stuff, yeah. it's, it's really very different to meeting in a club and just kind of having a scene with somebody else. Um, I really want you to, to spend time looking at your cyber rules. I was about to ask yeah. that, Anonymous. Have you had this discussion with your yeah. partner that you did it, I did it, so now it's over, or are we just going to wait to see what happens in the future? Have you actually had this discussion? We, we had the conversation when it happened, and we said it's fine. The boundaries were set the first time. And two years down the line, last week, we've been together for two years. We lived together, everything. Yeah. And it ha he met this woman at work. And then sure. it happens. So he knows where the boundaries are. And it's not like he doesn't get the attention at home. He, he does. I do tell him he's amazing and everything. And still that happens. Wow. So if you're saying that he met her at work and you went onto his phone, so you were obviously suspicious. And what kind of conversation? No. Oh, what happened? <laughs> his alarm went off. Ah, and when I texted, his WhatsApp was open. And, ah. we? and what, did you, what did you see on the WhatsApp? I mean, share with us. Was it like as if they have been sexual already or is it just flirting that you saw? What was it? It was it was extreme flirting and he downloaded pictures from her Facebook and sent it to her telling her how amazingly hot, how she, hot is. she is. Yeah. So oh. you would so you would define that as flirting and it has kind of broken your heart, right? Yeah. Okay, so you really feel as if you've been cheated on. And Katlecha, I mean, this is the thing with cyber infidelity. It mm. feels that real because now you've got a lack of trust and he's working with her, which makes him very vulnerable. 
Cool. So, you know, going forward, um, you yeah, you really need to be working with your pain. Yeah, but I guess pain. just to, uh, to, to sum it up, because yes. uh, obviously we've, we've got to say goodbye now, um, the discussion of where those boundaries lie at the very yeah. beginning of a relationship is Absolutely. a very important thing to know that I am one that believes in a relationship of just two people together, yes, exactly. nothing outside. Exactly. You know, yeah. yeah it's but, <laughs> but then it becomes quite complicated because you've got the cyber infidelity stuff. So if I'm chatting to somebody on Facebook, Maybe you would define that as cheating, whereas I just think I'm chatting to somebody on Facebook. Yeah. So the cyber rules really need to be looked at very yeah. clearly as well. Uh, I don't know. Bob looks rather depressed after this chat. <laughs> I, hope, I hope he recovers. He's got a little heart on, on his back, on his hoodie. All right. Well, thank you very much for giving us those calls and engaging yeah. with us on our relationship talk on Monday. I'm sure we'll pick it up again next week because there's still so many more questions yeah. to be asked. But to you, Dr. Eve, as always, yeah. thank you very much. Such a pleasure. Let's head on over to the kitchen right now.